The Army Without Combat Arms is essentially a bunch of different support roles and different gears that turn a machine that doesn't have wheels. And what makes the combat arms different from the rest of the military is having those different boots on ground forces that are actually making a difference on the battlefield. We operate in a fairly small team, kind of off on our own, out forward of friendly lines. We've got 36 scouts, eight vehicles, so we conduct reconnaissance and security type missions. And our main goal is to observe the battlefield and report back enemy positions, targets, any critical information that the commander needs in order to complete his battle assessments. There are four roles inside the tank. You need each one of them for the tank to be able to do what it's meant to do. So the gunner obviously shoots the rounds out. The tank commander is commanding everybody inside the tank and what goes on, scans for targets to help the gunner. The loader loads rounds in to the gun tube, shoots the weapon systems on the top. He guides the driver because the driver can't really see like the back parts of the tank for the most part. So the loader just pretty much assists everybody in the tank in whatever they need. They're all just a team and they need each other to work properly. That first time you get to fire that round downrange is probably that's my favorite memory that I'm going to hold on to for a really long time. I mean, there's not really anything that perfectly embodies it. I think that's the number one reason why anyone becomes an armor officer, becomes a 19 kilo, is you just want to watch that round go downrange. My MOS is 11 Charlie. We are indirect infantry, so we are regular infantry and mortars at the same time. The mortar brings to the battlefield a whole different perspective. If you're pinned down in a valley, you can take off the top of a mountain. You got a higher altitude than every other system. Anywhere they are, you can drop right on top of them. Our equipment's pretty heavy, um, so loading everything, getting it all ready. Uh, so you have to be pretty strong, stamina-wise. You have to be a quick thinker. Things are always changing, so we're always having to switch up the way we do things. So you have to be versatile. You have to be ready to fill any position that they require you to, uh, whether that's to be a member of a mounted crew or a dismount. The infantry is really the bread and butter of the military. I mean, you think back to our history, infantry was the most predominant MOS that we had. Being a leader is what I'm here to do ultimately. We're there to guide, we're there to give assistance and just help our soldiers through.